Prescott Van Meyer III, or PV3. In this episode of Sell Me In From Home, a fan request, Don Q151. So I uh, dropped by Dean's house, you know, get a payment in to Chadwick on that uh, cryptocurrency fiasco I had. And uh, Dean had to leave on an emergency, but uh, found the key under the, under the welcome mat. You know how I am finding keys. So here we are, Dean's kitchen and uh, time is of the essence. So let's get to the review. This is now the second strongest alcohol we'll be reviewing. Obviously it's not as powerful as Everclear. It says uh, it's crafted by the Serales family. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I love mispronouncing things but it has a pretty classic bottle to it. Now it gives you lots of warnings on the back, not pouring this close to any flames or hot surfaces. It, it will combust. Do not remove or puncture the flame arrestor in the top of the bottle. Well, I don't know what that is, but uh, we won't puncture it and we won't remove it. I mean, who likes being arrested? <laughs> yeah. Once you get arrested for sleeping in your car, <laughs> boy, that's a new low. We got a little, little man on a horse here on the cap of the bottle. I wonder where he's headed probably to some den of debauchery, bringing some old Don Q with him. So you have the nice amber color of, uh, of rum in here. It's reminding me a little bit of, of Fireball, to be honest. Whereas Fireball is just a little spicy, this is potentially an actual Fireball. So keep this away from children for both reasons, the alcohol and the flames. You got the warning on the front, flammable. You got all these warnings on the back. It's just kinda, kinda taunting you, isn't it? You gonna take a sip, sissy? Hmm? Hmm? You take a little sip of this. You too scared? I am a little scared. Yeah. Of this and Dean. So some of you may be familiar. You're not having a Berenstein, Berenstein effect in your brain, that it was a Bacardi 151 that was on the market for a while. Well, Bacardi, wanting to uh, clean up their image, decided to discontinue that. So Don Q stepped up and provided what the people wanted. A Puerto Rican rum with a 151 proof. Thank you, Don Q and Sorale's family. Let's open it up. I want to see what this flame arrester is all about. Little metal thing right on top there. Right there. Woo. Well, the smell, you can still smell the rum. Obviously that 151 proof is very potent on the nostrils, but still getting a hint of that uh, delicate, sugary, caramelized flavor. So specific to rum. And maybe this uh, flame arrester is, is helping open it up a little bit. And yeah, what else is inside this bottle? That's what they got to keep on top. Keep some wild animals in here. Some demon spirits. Well, this will awaken the demon spirits in me. All right, let's open it up a little bit. See how it pours out of this flame arrester. Ooh, splashes. Let's put this on since, uh, you know, I don't know if Dean has any open flames in his house. Very potent on the alcohol fumes coming off. Boy, that ethanol. Hmm, very strong. There's just a little bit of that caramel rum flavor, you know, just tickling the back end, which also happens to be the name of my favorite international film. It smells like I'm not gonna remember anything past 8 p.m. tonight. I'm getting notes of attending a beach wedding in Puerto Rico, oversharing to a group of strangers with an impromptu speech hours after the reception. <laughs> My ear, nose, and throat doctor told me that if I ever tried Everclear again, well, he was going to notify my insurance. Well, this doesn't look like Everclear, does it, Dr. Schneegler? Joke's on you, buddy. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. 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 Boy, that's bringing back memories. <laughs> oh. <coughs> it stings. I hope it's not affecting my speech at all. And I certainly hope it doesn't affect any of my motor functions moving forward. <coughs> well, Dr. Schniegler, I guess the joke's on me. That is, uh, that's intense. That 151 part is, uh, a real kick in the nuts. Reminds me of Dean and Abby, actually. <clears throat> you don't wanna drink it straight out of the snifter, straight out of the bottle, you know, you don't wanna take it neat. You mix it with other things to really cut down on all the effects of that alcohol. All right, let's try another sip. <coughs> 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 
Boy, the fumes. Ah, ah. Certainly tasting that lovely Puerto Rican sugar though. Really fantastic, Cerevales family. Cerevales? No, I added a V, Cerevales. Yeah, I once knew a guy with an IQ of 151. One shot of this and he'd be as dumb as the rest of us. Well, I can certainly taste how flammable it is. You've seen me do fireball, but uh, leave a comment if you want to see me do a real fireball. <laughs> I probably won't though. My life's hard enough as it is. Certainly don't want to try to burn Dean's house down. Usually it goes the other way with him. He's burning other people's house down. No. Arson. Not blaming him. <laughs> Not accusing him of anything. Just, uh, you know, good old Dean. So who would be drinking this? Bartenders whose greatest achievement in life is nailing the flaming Dr. Pepper. They're always hoping somebody orders it just to show off. <laughs> but nobody does. What can I get you, a flaming Dr. Pepper? Oh, a vodka tonic, cool. That's them, they're all snooty. Fire performers, during the performance and right before, get a little liquid courage, a little flammable liquid courage. Arsonists, I mean they love their fire and now they can drink it, so that's a win-win. Pledges, because most people would not voluntarily drink this. But chug that 151, freshman. <laughs> not speaking from experience, just, just improving. Poor kiddos. I would pair this with third degree burns. Have you seen those videos? Ouch. Let me light my shot on fire. Oh no, time to go to the hospital. Pairs well with tiki torches. You run out of oil, put a little of this in there. You'll be right as rain. And begging for rain if the fire spreads too quickly. Grease stains in the kitchen or on the floor of your garage. This stuff will clean it up right away. You can even dilute it a little bit. 50-50 you know, water. Pairs very well with $8,000 ER bills. Just burn ointment from head to toe. For my rating of zero to 100, I'm giving Don Q 151 a score of 47. Light, delicate Puerto Rican rum flavor in the background, but at 151, that is strong and does what it needs to do.